Hey everybody, it's Jason Falls, and I have had a very unique experience this weekend that I wanted to share with you uh, as a cautionary tale for those of you who are influencers and creators out there, and then also uh, for you brands and whatnot, because this is, uh, I think, what amounts to an attempt at fraud to get my personal account information and whatnot, but it's being done under the ruse of an influencer marketing uh, collaboration. So I received uh, an email uh, here on the 4th of July from someone calling themselves Joanna Gregory. Uh, it was from a Gmail account, which automatically sort of triggers some suspicion if they're doing, you know, some sort of, uh, you know, official influencer marketing work. So this email basically said, hey, I'm a representative of Constellation Brands. And as those of you in the business know, Constellation Brands is an alcohol, uh, you know, beer, wine, and spirits company. Um, very good reputation, very good brands. Um, because my Instagram account sometimes has some food and beverage content on it, I get outreaches like this from time to time. So, uh, And it could have been a consultant with a Gmail account, so I just continued to have the conversation with them. Ultimately, a couple of emails back and forth and... Uh, they agreed to send me product, and I agreed to a particular fee uh, to post a couple of posts about uh, the products. I do that from time to time. You guys probably know that. Um, and so uh, the agreement was made. They sent me um, a contract, a two-page little scope of work, um, but it was you know kind of amateurly done, uh, not necessarily uh, super suspicious, but amateurly done. So another sort of red flag went up there, but I signed it and sent it back. So they have my signature, they have my address, they have my phone number. Then the next day after I had signed this, I get a flat rate envelope, U.S. Postal Service right here. And it is actually from Whole Foods in New York City. I don't do any business with Whole Foods, don't know anybody there, so that was a little odd. I opened it up, and surprise, surprise, and i got to be careful how I hold this up, um, I received a check in the amount of $1,840, which was not the amount that we had agreed to in this agreement. No indication on or in the envelope who this was from, other than the payee of the check and the return address. No indication that it had anything to do with this Joanna Gregory or this Constellation Brands influencer marketing routine. So um, the check is actually from the personal uh, federal credit union account of a woman who I will not share her name uh, in Fresno, Texas. I believe she is a victim of these folks because they obviously have at least bank account and routing numbers to be able to produce checks for this person. Um, I hope, or at least that's what I suspect it is anyway. Um, and so I actually Googled this person, tried to find a phone number. I texted uh, the person of this name in uh, Fresno, Texas. I did not get a response. I basically just kind of said, hey, I got a package from you in the mail yesterday, and I don't know who you are nor why you would send me anything. Is this you? And if so, let me know but I haven't heard back from them. So I'm just trying to look out for a fellow consumer who, who might be uh, in on this as well or dragged into this as well. Nonetheless, haven't heard back from them. So this is where it gets weird. At 2.35, so I don't know who this, this envelope or these checks are from. At 2.35 in the morning, the following morning, which was actually this morning on Saturday, I received a text message from this Joanna Gregory person saying, hey, wanted to confirm that you got the check that we sent you yesterday. Um, and if you did, let me know and I'll send you some further instructions on what to do with it. That's where I was like, OK, there's obviously something up here. They're giving me instructions on what to do with a check made out to me from a person I don't know and is not involved with their uh, business or I haven't heard their name in the emails or anything like that. Um, and it's for an amount that we did not agree to. Um, and so now all of a sudden I'm like, okay, we're done here. Um, so that's where we are to date. I texted them back and said, this is suspicious. I need confirmation from someone from Constellation Brands. Um, so what I have done today, 
uh, other than record this video to share with all of you, is I have reported the incident to the FBI. I filed an online form for fraud for the FBI. I have filed a fraud report with the Federal Trade Commission as well, uh, putting all of this information in there. Um, and I have also filed a fraud report with my state attorney general. Um, and those are the three primary places where you should report fraud. Uh, fortunately for me, I didn't give them uh, any of my bank account information. I never deposited the check or anything like that. So they have no way of getting into my money. But they did get my signature. They have my address. They have my phone number. And so I've alerted my bank as well to make sure they understand what's going on, that I've filed complaints with the federal authorities uh, to protect myself. Um, so those are the steps that I've taken. Um, and I will certainly keep everybody updated on what happens with this. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I shared this with all of you because um, if this Joanna Gregory or whomever is behind this scheme uh, is doing this to more than just me, which I assume they are, I want everybody to be aware of it. Um, so if they have a Gmail or AOL or Hotmail account. It's not tied to a business. If they don't give you a URL or a business address, if they send you an amateurish contract or scope of work that's not a PDF, that's not an e-signed document that doesn't have some sort of official sort of vibe to it, um, if they don't give you um, other contact information rather than just an email address, they need to give you a phone number. There needs to be some contacts. There needs to be, you know, it needs to seem a lot more legit than something like this would. Now, I certainly uh, am somewhat uh, of uh, culpable in all this because I was gullible enough to let them get as far as they did. Um, but I have done deals like this before with independent consultants who might seem a little suspicious if you have a, a very suspicious you know, I to these sorts of things. So I dealt with things like this before and they worked out okay. But my spidey senses, if you will, went off at some point when there were four or five red flags in a row. It's like, nah, this isn't cool. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if uh, Joanna Gregory is out there watching or listening, sorry, but you've been reported. This is way too crazy and way too suspect. I'm not cashing this check. Um, and if the authorities want it, I'll be turning it over to them. So Good luck to you and your illustrious career. Hope that helps everybody. Keep your eyes uh, open and, uh, and you know, do the smart thing. Uh, don't fall victim to something like this. I'm glad I didn't. I hope you don't.